and to any national political figure who has decided to get involved in uh, the plight of East Palestine, uh, Palestine, excuse me, uh, I have a simple message, uh, which is I need your help, because if you're serious about this, there is more that we could do to prevent more communities from going through this. There's a lot of trauma in this community, a lot of emotion, and as you noted, a lot of politics, too. Now that you've seen the wreckage and spoken to the people, was it a mistake not to come here sooner? You know, what I tried to do was balance two things. My desire to be involved and engaged and on the ground, which is uh, uh, how I am uh, generally wired to act, and my desire to follow the norm of transportation secretaries, allowing NTSB to really uh, lead the initial stages of the public-facing work. I'll do some thinking about uh, whether I got that balance right. Uh, but I think the most important thing is, first of all, making sure that the residents here have what they need. Now that you have been here on the Did ground, you have you had long? an opportunity to speak to residents here since you've been on the ground? And just to follow up, since you have had some time to now think about it, in retrospect, should you have come a little sooner? So, again, uh, in terms of the timing of the visit, I'm trying to strike the right balance, uh, allowing NTSB to play its role, but making sure we're here in that show of support. Before you send your first tweet, expressing concern for the residents of East Palestine a week and a half after the accident happened. In, in hindsight, was that waiting too long to express anything hours after you had addressed the makeup of work crews on highway construction projects just that very day? The answer to your question is yes. I, I felt strongly about this and uh, could have expressed that sooner. Again, I was taking pains to respect the, the role that I have and the role that I don't have, but that should not have stopped me from weighing in about how I felt about what was happening to this community. So what did your past uh, perceived political ambitions, uh, how did they play into uh, the Republican response to this, to this uh, disaster? Look again, I'm here for the work and not for the politics. Uh, you can sense when you talk to local leaders and local residents that they're getting pretty sick of the politics too. And this national uh, uh, ideological layer that's been added into all of this when they're just trying to figure out if they're going to be safe. And there's no question that there have been enormous amounts of both information and misinformation injected into this situation, none of which is to the benefit of the community uh, when it comes to that misinformation. The Norfolk, sir. So I think, so I lost my train of thought. Um, well, that's what I had to say about that. That's exactly why we're here. That's why we've been here from the first hours of the incident as an administration. And it's why our interest both in what happened here in East Palestine and in keeping our railroads safe doesn't go away when some other uh, hot news story uh, comes into the headlines. We're going to be here day in, day out, year in, year out, making our railroads safer and making sure Norfolk Southern meets its responsibilities. But that is a promise and one I take very, very seriously. You mentioned a national political figure who's decided to get involved. It sounds like you're talking about Trump. And then you said, I need your help. How can he help? Well, one thing he could do is uh, uh, express support for reversing the deregulation uh, that uh, happened on his watch. I heard him say he had nothing to do with it, even though it was in his administration. Uh, so if he had nothing to do with it, and uh, they did it in his administration against his will, uh, maybe he could come out and say that, uh, uh, that uh, he supports us moving in a different direction. Uh, we're not afraid to own our policies when it comes to raising the bar on regulation. And uh, I've got to think that uh, uh, him indicating that this is uh, something that everybody, no matter how much you disagree on politics and presidential campaigns, can get behind. Higher fines, tougher uh, uh, regulations on safety, Congress unti untying our hands on breaking rules, all the other things that go with that, uh, that'd be a nice thing for him to do. So this is a community that, first of all, it's a community full of good people who did nothing wrong. No, no one in this community asked to be in this situation. And they deserve not just the full force of the federal administration and the, the state government uh, being there for them, not just Norfolk Southern doing the right thing and, and paying for the cleanup. They deserve a different level of support a human level of support. The country should be wrapping their arms around the people of East Palestine, not as a political football, not as an ideological flap, uh, flashpoint, not as a gotcha moment, 
but as thousands of human beings whose lives got upended through no end, through no fault of their own. Uh, and I think that includes visits, not just big official visits from the government, but just people who've seen the news and whose hearts go out to the community here and can come here, come here on a day like this when the sun is shining or on a rainy day and shop in those shops and visit those businesses. Um, it is safe to visit here, as all of us can attest, even while we're still making sure that it stays safe to live here. Uh, and people deserve that.